but it has been so hard lately Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie if you are new here and I'm coming at you all hot and red faced today because I just finished a 10 minute workout. I have told y'all that I go onto YouTube and I search dance workout, dance exercise, and sometimes I'll search like belly or abs exercise and I just try to find one that I can follow along to because I know some of y'all will ask me what workouts do I do I literally will like click on like five of them before I find one I want to do or that I can keep up with sometimes so the one that I did today I can link it below it is easy to follow along with it's like a belly workout but I feel feel it in my arms my legs and I am whew, I'm out of breath I literally just got done with that exercise and I changed my clothes so I actually took a shower while Jackson was taking a nap he actually didn't take a nap today though I gave him his tablet in his bed and gave him some quiet time because my hair was so oily honestly last night I needed to wash my hair but my husband and my 13 year old both need to take a shower I had just gave all the kids baths we were limited on water so I just quickly got in and pulled my hair up and washed my body last night even though I needed to wash my hair I just wouldn't have had enough hot water and I didn't feel like waiting like an hour because it was already so late so I just got up today and washed my hair I blow dried it and then I put it up in my claw clip and I put on like an exercise outfit and did my workout. I just changed my clothes. I'm just wearing this tank top. I'm going to put another shirt on later because I do have my teenager's band performance tonight. And I have to go to it solo mama because my husband Eric, he's going to take my five-year-old Nolan to his soccer practice this evening around the same time that her band concert is. So I'm going to take my six-year-old and my two-year-old. I'm not super sweaty, but I did get hot. I should have honestly did my exercise and then got in the shower. But, oh well, it is what it is. I'm going to take another shower tonight before I go to bed. But I just really, really wanted to wash my hair. That was the point of the shower this morning. My hair was so oily and I was just, I couldn't do it. So I'm going to go and wash my face. I'm going to put on some makeup. I'm going to finish getting ready later. But I've got some things i got to do around the house. So I thought I'd pick my camera up and take y'all along with me. My husband's actually on his way home from work early right now because he hurt his arm the other day at work and he said he can't even lift it. It just hurts so bad. And you know it's serious if he leaves work because he never misses work. He's always at work. So he's on his way home and he's going to stop and grab us some lunch. He's going to get us some Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A's lemonade so he's going to stop and get us that. Jackson is still in his pajamas. Well, halfway in his pajamas. He's just wearing like a pajama shirt and a diaper so I've got to go get him dressed still too. But hopefully I can give y'all some motivation today to get up and just do some things. Whatever needs to be done in your life today. But thank y'all so much for clicking on this video and let's jump in. I know I talked about Halara's jeggings. Not sponsored. I just love their clothes. This is the skirt that I'm going to wear tonight but y'all it's shorts and they're very comfortable spandex shorts I love the Halara clothes I've got so many jeggings and clothes from them but I recommend Halara especially for mamas if you'd like to dress comfortably I love this skirt Jackson come get a diaper Baba let's get dressed y'all it is supposed to be like 70 74 I think degrees today so that is nice I think we're gonna do his little baby band tee it's a little red hot chili pepper t-shirt. How cute! We're gonna pair this with some blue jeans. Let's get a diaper. Let's see your choo choo. You can have it back in just a minute. Came, I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I was speechless when we first met. Yeah.
never thought I'd feel this high in the sky has never felt this close and when you kiss me I can't believe that I am yours and you what perfume I've been wearing lately all through winter mostly I was wearing the ambery vanilla by dossier and it smells like an iced vanilla latte it's definitely one of my favorite vanilla scents but the one that I've been wearing lately is the floral pink pepper by dossier and this one smells just colorful with a sprinkle of spice it has notes of orange rose jasmine vanilla and more but i think this one smells really really good and i've just been loving this one for spring but if you don't know what dossier is they are a luxury inspired fragrance brand they have higher end perfumes for a much cheaper price tag. This one is actually inspired by Miss Dior Sherry, which retails for about $130. And this one smells just like it. It's just called Floral Pink Pepper. And you can get this one for 29 bucks. So if you are using a higher end perfume, check Dossier and make sure they don't have a scent that is inspired by the perfume you're wearing for much cheaper. But this one has fresh, rosy accents. I feel like it is a really, really good spring scent if y'all are looking for a good perfume. And they have scents for women, men, and unisex. The bottles that are red are for women. The bottles that are a beige tan color are unisex. And then the bottles that have black text are for men. And then this one is another scent that I really love but I usually don't pull this one out until summer. I love anything and everything coconut for summertime. This one is the Floriental Coconut. I love to wear this one in the summer. It just goes so perfectly with like the suntan and sitting by the pool. It just smells so good. I do have someone that has tried this who told me they think it smells something like an older woman would wear. So our scents will be different. I will probably like things that you probably won't like and you'll probably like things that I won't like, but these are just my recommendations on things that I specifically like from Dossier. But if y'all are looking for a good spring scent, I will have Dossier linked down below in my description box so y'all can check out the Floral Pink Pepper or another scent. And if you get the scent and you decide you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund. Also, I wanted to quickly say that I will never work with brands that I don't specifically like myself. I have been working with Dossier for several years and I do wear some Bath and Body Works perfumes but for the most part I'm mostly wearing my Dossier perfumes. But Dossier does sponsor me and I will continue to work with brands as long as I need to as in if I don't make a specific amount of money every month for our bills and our groceries then I can't get certain things like our groceries or pay certain bills. So there are a few brands that I really genuinely like that I will stick with. So y'all will be seeing Dossier features and y'all will also be seeing Pat Pat features. And occasionally other brands may pop in, but for the most part, I always work with Dossier and Pat Pat. Y'all, this is my job. This is how I make money. This is my income. I do get my revenue from YouTube, but sometimes it's just really not enough when all the bills are coming in and I've got four kids to feed. So taking on those steady brands like Pat Pat and Dossier, they're always gonna be there and I love both of them. But for the most part, I know that all of y'all understand. And I know that most of y'all are here for me and I just really, really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Bye. 
a little bit ago and we ate and we hung out for just a little bit while well, he was pretty much hanging out with Jackson while I was trying to get some chores done. I got some laundry tackled and just some things done. I have a long sleeve shirt that I'm going to wear with this skirt tonight when I go to Addie's performance, but it's supposed to get up to like 74 degrees today. And the later it gets, it'll start cooling back off, so I don't really want to put my sweater on right now because it's already warm in the house and I'm running around doing a bunch of chores. So I'm just going to wait to put my sweater on until later. Y'all, I have been trying to wean Jackson off of his passy completely. I only gave it to him at nap time and bedtime. And the other night, probably like a week or two ago, he refused his passy because he was just in a bad mood where he was crossing his arms and going mm -mm to everything. And he was laying in the bed and I tried to give him his passy and he did that to his passy. So I said, okay, passy's all gone. And ever since then, I just haven't given it back to him. He's asked for it a few times and I just tell him, passy's all gone, it's all gone. And I won't give it back to him. And he hasn't really cried about it. He's kind of whined for it, but he hasn't really cried for it. So that's really good. And for the past week, he hasn't asked for it at all. He lays down for nap time, but he hasn't been going to sleep. So I just give him a tablet and let him do like quiet time in the bed and just like watch a video or play a game. And that's the only way I can really keep him in the bed. The past several weeks, he's only went to sleep a couple of times and it takes him a really long time to go to sleep. I have to keep going in the room and laying him down and reminding him that it's nap time because he gets up and just starts playing. Like yesterday, I laid him down for a nap and I went in there to check on him and he was in the toy box, like the back of the toy box standing in it. <laughs> and I feel like I want to keep incorporating nap time or quiet time in our routine because as a work from home mama, I need him to lay down and be quiet when I'm doing voiceovers. Otherwise, I don't have any time to do voiceovers literally I can't do them when all the kids are home because it's very loud I can't do them on the weekends because it's just so loud so I do look forward to that nap time where he lays down if he doesn't go to sleep I'll only I'll only have him lay down for like 45 minutes to an hour tops of him just laying there and sometimes he'll fall asleep and other times he doesn't but lately he just hasn't been falling asleep but I definitely want to keep incorporating at least quiet time in our daily routine if I stop doing that and I try to lay him down then he's not gonna have it so I just want to keep doing that but it has been so hard lately with like Eric and I and not really getting to go like spend time together or really talk. I feel like once he comes home, the kids are all here and it's just loud, it's chaotic. We're a family of six. So there's so much going on. I feel like I can't properly talk to him until the kids go to bed. But once the kids go to bed, I'll take a shower and then he takes a shower. Then we're just so tired and I'm just so ready to get in the bed. And a lot of times he'll sit out here in the living room for a little while and I'm already laying in the bed like watching a video on my phone or something. I'm just like so ready to get in the bed. But a lot of times we do hang out when we watch a movie together and all that, but we're not really talking if that makes any sense. We talk, we do talk, we do have conversation, and that is very important in a marriage is communication and talking, but it's also very important to go out and get time for yourself. So recently, my mother-in-law was able to watch the kids for us so we could go file our taxes, and afterwards, we went to Longhorns, and it was just so nice to actually sit there and talk to him <laughs> without an interruption. So it's very rare that we get to go out and talk and I just feel like that is so hard on a marriage. And I know people say, you know, one day you're going to be an empty nester. All your kids are going to be grown. One day they're all going to be out of your house and you're going to have plenty of time to talk. But the problem is I don't want that to ruin my marriage before that happens. I don't want us to get on a level where we're not communicating, we don't really talk much, and it just ruins everything before we get there, before we get to the point where all the kids are grown out and we have all the time in the world, if that makes any sense at all. And I know in one of my last videos, I was talking about how we just really don't go on vacations. We went on a vacation when Adeline, my first baby, when she was four years old, we went to the beach. We went to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and it was a really fun vacation. She did get sick out there and we ended up spending a couple of hours in the laundromat out there 
and we had to clean our car out and, and it was a whole mess. But when we were at Longhorns, we were talking and I brought up about going on like a family vacation and I feel like the kids would really love it. I know we would have a really hard time with getting them to settle down and sleep there, especially Jackson. He is the worst. He won't even sleep in my bed. If he's having a restless night, I don't want him to wake Nolan up sometimes and I'll bring him into my room and I'll try to get him to lay in between my husband and I and go to sleep and he just won't. He thinks it's time to sit up and talk and he just, I mean, he has fallen asleep before, but usually he won't. So if we do go on a vacation, he's going to be in the bed with Eric and I, and I know that he's going to give us the hardest time going to sleep and it will be exhausting, but Eric wants to go to the mountains and I said, I'm fine with going to the mountains or the beach, either one. I just want to take like a family trip with all of us. I said, I want memories of, you know, like my kids playing on the ocean and collecting seashells and I want them to have the memories of bringing the seashells home and painting them and I want to have pictures and memories of them playing putt-putt and just us on a vacation in general, no matter how exhausting and tiresome it is. And this is what I explained to him because he just thinks it's not relaxing to take little kids on a vacation. And it's not, but I explained to him that I want the memories and I want them to have the memories, even if they don't even remember it. I want to have the pictures and I want to have the memories of my kids enjoying a vacation so that's something that we're talking about we'll probably end up going to the mountains because that's where my husband was leaning towards i think it'll be so fun to go rent like a little cabin out there and go play putt putt and all that so maybe we'll get to do that i think he said in the fall he wants to go when it's cool so hopefully we'll go get to do that but that's some plans that we have and i'm really looking forward to it but it has definitely been just so hard lately with <laughs> trying to maintain a marriage, maintain a healthy diet and exercise and keep the house clean and stay in a positive happy mood when I'm like stressed and exhausted and burnt out. It's just been so hard lately. If y'all don't mind whispering a little prayer for me that I can get through the days while the littles are little because I just have just felt so run down the past few weeks. I feel like I'm in survival mode, honestly. And if you look at my house, it's got toys all over it. It's not filthy, it looks lived in. There is socks and toys and blankets and pillows strewn across my house. Sometimes it just looks disastrous in here and my mind runs a million miles a minute. It's just so overwhelming sometimes. And if y'all need me to say any prayers for y'all, leave them down in my comment section and I will make sure that I keep y'all in my prayers too. I hear you breathe, but I can't see If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you See, this is nothing can be a life It might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on tank top to my skirt and I just love these short, these 
shorts, this skirt because it has shorts under it. And so if I need to bend over and tend to my kids, I can without feeling uncomfortable. But I just have this white long sleeve button down shirt. And like I said, it's like going to get up to 74 degrees today, but later tonight it's supposed to be cool and all. I'm going to wear these wedges since I'm wearing just like white and brown. This shirt has really pretty little like rhinestone buttons, but I wanted to give myself a little pop of color. So these are kind of like a mauve pink and I think they will look really pretty with this brown skirt. For dinner, I'm making a super easy steak and potato dinner. You're just gonna sear your steaks in butter and I'm just using a cast iron skillet and I'm just gonna sear around all the sides and I like to use butter because I feel like it just gives that really good flavor. Then I'm just gonna add my steaks in some foil and I'm cutting these in half because my kids get some of it and my husband and I get some of it and doing it this way is plenty for us. And I'm also gonna be pairing it with some steamed broccoli in the bag in the microwave, super easy. So I'm just gonna pour my potatoes and my steak in some foil and we're gonna season it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley. You can add a little bit of olive oil to this as well. And you're just gonna close up your foil really tightly and you're just gonna place that in the oven on about 400 to 425 degrees and you're just gonna bake that for about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how well done you like your steaks. I cooked ours for about an hour on 425 and they turned out so good and they were so juicy and delicious. Once they're done, I just add a little bit more butter to the steak and the potatoes just to make sure they are full of flavor and it always turns out so good. So if y'all wanna try this recipe, I will have the way I made it down below in my description box. So I do have my girls help with the towels, but I just washed a massive amount of their clothes. So when they get home, probably tomorrow, because as soon as my kids get home, we have to go to my oldest band performance. So they are gonna have a massive load of laundry to fold and put away, but they're gonna do that probably tomorrow, not today. Their clothes are done. They're just sitting in their room, but I don't think we'll have time for them to do that today. But I usually have them help me with the towels so when the towels are done I have Arabella my six-year-old fold all of the hand towels and all of the rags and then my 13 year old folds and puts away all of the towels so that really helps me tremendously and I wash towels probably like once or twice a week just really as needed with the towels once our towel basket gets full I keep all of our towels separately so just like once our towel basket gets full is when I will wash those but it is really, really helpful when the girls help me to fold and put away all the towels. But since I know that they have so much laundry to do and I'm home to do this right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle it. <laughs> that's pretty much going to be the end of today's video i hope that you found it motivating to get something done in your house today i got a lot of chores done and taken care of my house is clean for the most part we didn't deep clean or anything today we just did some like daily house tasks but thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all in my next one oh, so wasting my time letting you into my life mm -hmm. you brought out the best in me <laughs>